Hello, welcome to another video on Inkscape. This is just going to be a short video to show you how you can get your workspace looking exactly how you'd like it. I'll be covering how to move your command bar to the top, resizing icons, how to get a permanent snapping bar, changing your theme, toggling visibility of different sections on and off, border and background options and more. Stick with us. So I've re reset my version of Inkscape back to how it is uh, when you first install Inkscape. Um, I've got my command bar down the right hand side. So the first thing I'm going to do is move this to the top. So to do that, I'm going to come over to view. And at the bottom, we've got widescreen. If we uncheck widescreen, that'll move our command bar to the top. The next thing I want to do is change my snapping. Currently, We've got snapping as a drop down box over here. We can either have this as the simple drop down box, or if you click on advanced mode, you can have the advanced mode. Now, this is probably the nicest layout, but I do like to have mine permanently set on the right hand side. So I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to come over to our preference button over here. We're going to click on this, and in preferences, I'm going to come down to interface click on the triangle and then I'm going to come down to toolbars. At the bottom of our toolbars dialog we've got snapping controls bar so we can either have it as the simple or advanced which we've just looked at or we can have it permanent and that puts it down the right hand side. So in here we can also change the size of our icons. A lot of our icons look quite small so we can make them that little bit bigger. So to do this if we come down to um, the toolbox icon size we can adjust this to increase the size of our icons and we can do the same with the control bar. When we increase the control bar icons, we do have a tendency to start pushing off um, snapping options off the bottom and the same can happen with our toolbox tools down the left hand side. So it's kind of a happy medium. So I think I'm going to stop there. So while we've still got our preference box open, if we come down here to interface, just above toolbars, we've got theming. So if you want to change the appearance of your theme or you want to change the appearance of your icons, you can do this in here. So first up, we can come up and we can change our theme. You can choose whichever one you like. So this is a, a light theme. You can change it to dark by clicking over on the use dark. I'm going to set mine to use system theme and I'm going to use the dark theme. Down in icons, we can also change our icons. So you've got a selection of choices down here. So we've got high color, multicolor, tango. You can have a look at these and see which ones you prefer. So these ones are quite nice. I think the use system icons, I think gives you a quite a nice option as well. I want to reset mine to multicolor. And I'm going to come up and get rid of our preference dialog box. So if for any reason that you find you've got something missing, so either your rules aren't showing, your toolbox isn't showing, your command bar's not showing, if you come up to view and down to show hide, in here we've got a list of different things that we can toggle the visibility on and off. So for example, command bar, if we turn this off, our command bar will disappear. So if you're wondering where things are, and they're not visible, this is the place to check. Another thing I want to quickly show you is, as well as the preferences button up here, we've got next to it, we've got open document properties. So in here, you can set up your document properties. So you may want to change your display units. Mine's set at millimeters. Um, we've got the page size, orientation. We've also got down here, it's the different options for your border. So you can turn borders on and off. We can change the page color. And we can also change the color of the background behind our page. Oh, and sometimes you might like to work with no page showing. So the way you could do this is to just turn off the border. And then if you make the background the same color as your page, you've just got a nice open space to work in. And lastly, before we go, we've got the color palette down the bottom. 
if you come over to the bottom right hand corner we've got this little hamburger icon and down here you can choose which palette you work with and if you go down to configure you can adjust your tile sizes and things down here you can also change the number of rows the border and whether or not you enlarge the pinned colors at the bottom left hand corner of your screen so if we change that it reduces it down to the same size as the rest of our palette so I'm going to turn that back on and I think that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video thanks for watching and I'll see you next time